Good. Well, Ian, just a, a fantastic response from the Lynette. Brilliant, yeah. Apart from the initial first 20, which I think they really started really, really well. Uh, uh, I think the four boys were excellent, really were. I mean, they keep they keep asking, answering these challenges that keep putting up against them. And uh, the way we managed and the goals we scored was sublime today, really, really good. Was it a concern to you, the way you started, did you think that maybe the delay had got into the heads a little bit? Yeah, it was. I mean, we, we come here, I think we all arrived here at half one, so to sit around for an hour and a half, I mean, it's a bit different from them, even though the, the coach broke down, they're still coming, travelling towards us, so, uh, you know, it doesn't really affect them as such. But us, we, you know, the, uh, the adrenaline levels drop and, you know, you come a bit more relaxed and we look like it did. Uh, and the goal really sparked us up really I mean we uh, started to get hold of it the big man up front started to get hold of it as well and it got us up the field and we fed off of him they'd only conceded three coming into this so that shows you what sort oh, of performance really, it was yeah. no they're a good side they've started really really well and uh, it was a big ask for us in this heat as well and, and the boys were very very good and up front with the goals like that and we were just talking about the supply lines to Michael Gash you know and uh, he scores wonderful headers but the deliveries are equally as good yeah both full backs I mean Jonesy first half and then Foxy second half excellent balls at the back post and that's what we've been missing because we've been hitting the front man quite in quite a few games and uh, a fair play to them too they've missed it and, and it's come and hit me balls at the back post which uh, it, it thrive on all day and it's, having got yourselves ahead after that, uh, you've been rocked by the early goal, the second half, you really took the ball by the horns. Yes, yeah, I thought second half was a great response. I mean, to go in 2-1 up was good, uh, but I thought second half we were dominant, really, really dominant, and, and uh, managed the game, and then in the end there as well, just saw out the game really, really well by keeping possession of the ball. And, it, and it's nice when you can bring fresh legs on, knowing that you've got a game on Monday and being in a position to do so. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, I think that's vital that uh, we can try to save as many legs as possible. Uh, it's a shame because it's hell of an ask for us to go up there again and um, in, in 48 hours, but if, if you've ever got a group of boys you can rely on, they're in that, in that dressing room. Yeah, you keep talking about the, the spirit of this side, and that's evident, isn't it? You know, even when one down, not flustered, you know, got back into their own game. I think they believe in it in the shape and the, and, and the spirit of the boys, you know, they believe in each other. And the good thing is they demand more from each other. So even after 20, you saw them managing, you know, they managed the group well between them, so it's good. I, I know you said at the start of the season, you'll take 10 games at a time as such, yeah. but is, is this a better start than you had expected? Yeah, it probably is, if, if I'm truthful, because I, I know it's going to be a big, big task for us to compete in this league, but the way the boys have taken it is, 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 is you know, it, Simply, really, it's, 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 I can't speak highly enough of them. Uh, but like I've always said we're, we're going to get bumps. It's going to test the squad, and it's going to take all 18 of us, you know, to try and stay and compete in this league. But 100% record at home as well. I mean, that, that, those points are going to be so crucial. Yeah, that's why it's vital that we make this place really hard for t the opposing teams. It's, uh, and we're, we've made a start on that, and we've just got to keep that going now. You know. Help with the crowd, you know, the crowd come out and the vocal as well. And it can be an intimidating place at times. Have you lost a player or two? You, Chris, Chris Smith, is he? Yeah, he's got, he's got he's got a slight hamstring strain, so we've got to be careful with him because we don't want it to be long term. Uh, so he, he missed today and tomorrow, uh, Monday. Monday, sorry, and then hopefully for next week he might be back in the squad. Um, but as one drops out, it's a chance for someone else. Uh, obviously, Hawks has gone out to get game time, uh, but then Natty Stewart can come in, you know, and, and Natty will get a chance as well. So it's all, all, all 18 is, is needed in this squad. You don't seem to have any weak spots from, you know, the starters to the people sitting down here. Yeah. They, they all seem capable of playing first team football whenever asked. Yeah, oh, we've got a talented group, really yeah. have. And, uh, you're only, I've said it before, we're only as strong as the, as the bench. And if you can bring people off the bench that can influence the game, that's what it's all about. I mean, previously, we've had people come in that don't influence the game, but now we've got some good players on the bench. And I guess, given the, the, the delayed kickoff and then adjusting to that, and then after 20 minutes, it's not all about what you do out on the pitch. A lot of it's between the ears, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, you can switch off and you can come you know, uh, psychologically, like, switching off so it's it's important that mentally we stayed focused today and uh, when the chips were down and when there were questions were asked about after the first 20 minutes they, they rose to it and uh, 
they got themselves back in the game and then they grew and grew within it. If Michael Gash was 10 years younger, <laughs> which Premier League club would he be playing oh, for? I know, <laughs> oh, no, he's immense today, wasn't he? I mean, ridiculous. And it was a real physical battle for him for, yeah. for 20 minutes in the first half, but then I think he won the battle in the end, that's for sure. Mazza as well, I and mean, they were a big side, we all yeah. could see that, they were, they were like rugby players. Yeah. But Mazza looked like he got a beanie spot from somewhere, yeah. but he was very physical yeah. back. Yeah. And uh, that's got to, got to be. Got, we need that physicality within the side mm. uh, because technically we're a really, really good side mm. and teams will look at us and probably say, right, let's get amongst them and beat them up. But when you've got them two uh, <laughs> holding the line for us and getting us up the field, well, we'll hold our own. Mm. And again, I'm sort of repeating what Nick had asked, but you lost your first game, you haven't been beaten since. Yeah. You're second in the table. Would you... <laughs> would you have taken it? Of course, I'm sure you yes, would. But yeah. are you surprised that it's been that good a start? Not in the group. No. Not in the group because, like I keep saying, the tentative group. Um, I am surprised in where we are at the moment, but I know we're going to get bumps. Yeah. I keep saying it. I know we're going to get bumps, and it's, it's how we respond to the bumps. And, and after the initial first day, this group has really responded and answered a lot of questions. Yeah. Uh, and we've got to keep doing it, we've got to keep hungry and we've got to compete in every game and we'll try and keep surprising a few. And do you sound like you're trying to keep those surprises under wraps <laughs> yes, as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, <laughs> we're, we've got great expectancy <laughs> levels here, oh, no, you know. Right, no. <laughs> Sorry about that. But it's, it's, it's going to be hard, it's going to be hard. Yeah. It's a big arse, it's a real, real tough league. And like I said, we're going to come against sides that are going to be physically dominant on us. Uh, but it's all about answering questions, and as long as we don't get, differ too much from our game plan, then I think we'll, we'll, we'll be all right. Just one more from me. In your eyes, do you think there's a better front two in, the, in this league than Gashi and, and Mazza? Well, I, I don't want to spum them up too much, but it's, 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 uh, I, I'm, I'm impressed with them. They're, they're really good. They've, they've, they've stepped up to this level. They all have. They're, they're, they're all have. But. They're massive to us, they're massive to the way we play, because they get us up the field. And if we, if we didn't have them two up there and the ball kept coming back repeatedly, then we're camped in our own half. But now we can get up the field and get round them. And, and our link-up play in the final third is, is improving with every game. So uh, we're getting there. Um, and to answer your question, no. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think there is. I think, that, I think they've been magnificent for this football club. I mean, I said to go, I'll ask Ashley the same question. Is he fried? Do you think he's thriving at this level because you know, it's more rough and tumble, more physical. Do you think he's going to get, you know, be more of a threat? I think so. I, I, he's a hell of a weapon to have at the far post. And if we can get the delivery into him, we've just got to keep keep improving as a team and keep working on things. And, but uh, with them two in the side, they give you a chance to win games. And that's, that's all we can ask. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks for the answer.